What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 341 to 344. Super excited. Thriller Bark is vastly different from Annie's Lobby in almost every aspect of the word. Remember, if you guys want the full-length version of these as well as up to 16 episodes ahead of the YouTube schedule, come check out the Patreon. Links are down below like always. We also are live watching this on Twitch. It is always a vibe, so make sure you guys come follow the Twitch. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right into today's episodes. One Piece, episode 341. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 340, almost at 241. 341. I love Usopp's anti-evil outfit. He's still just... Where's Sanji? You know what I'm saying? He means at the laboratory. <laughs> I'm not interested in naked you. <laughs> yeah. I want to peek at the other thing. Yeah. I don't know. I'd be stuck between a rock and a hard place, deciding whether to leave or stay with all the crazy shenanigans. That is an interesting looking cat. That's what I'm saying. I don't trust Dr. Hog back yet. He's lying about something. I like how her knees are sticking out of the water and mm, goddamn Nami. Is this the ghost that was messing with Sanji and the rest of them on the ship? What in the earth is going on right here? This is was the same beast sounds. And the woman on the ship talking about Robin. Be my blushing bride. <laughs> Usopp's fart. <laughs> she can't scream out. Oh, right in the invisible nuts. Oh. Ooh. Chopper's using. And he's coming out the window. <laughs> Done it again. So Hogback knows who this is or what this is. Because he does sound like a beast. Yeah, I want to know the source of his invisibility. Is he a ghost? He doesn't seem like a ghost, you know? Wait, are you coming, my man, or what? It is a stupidly obvious trap, 100%, but... That's a good point. There really has nothing to do. Oh, excuse me. Now, now we're running into Cerberus. They're in the same trenches we were in. You see Cerberus and gets hungry? <laughs> I love the difference in these groups. Nami, Usopp, and Chopper were scared to death. And they just do not get, they're like, what are these people? It's such... I don't know how to feel about what's going on. My man Luffy's going. Luffy just knocked out the... Island dog. Yeah, it looks like it's literally an amalgamation of just experiments. 
ちは楽しみだな元気ないわねケルベロスさん He's somewhat tamed Don't show the defeated any sympathy <laughs> That's true I love Zoro's traditional aspects Especially from a warrior's perspective Oh, that's invisible man Absalom That woman tickles my fancy Why is he all shrouded in darkness? What kind of beast is the animal? He can't just be human Talking about their bounties Based off his nose, he looks like a cat yeah, I definitely don't trust Dr. Hogback. I assume the prey he means is Luffy, the captain with over 300 million, including you naked. No. He is coping so hard. Brooke's the only real one. That's a good point. Brooke is the real life definition of a zombie coming back to life. But these zombies, what are they? Chopper's thinking of it from a scientific perspective. Zombie king. You know it's bad when Nami's the only rational one of the situation. There are a lot of portraits of people who have numbers on their chins or on their faces and look like experiments as well with the sewn up plate. Is his eyes gonna move? On some Harry Potter shit? Yeah, fuck no. Fuck that. This place is just creepy in general. I would have been dipped. Even though outside is also equally as creepy, so. That's the guy who's killed on, who's in our carriage. He's constantly just like this, just to keep his wings aligned like that. I would be nervous as hell to sleep here, sleep over on this island. The characters on these portraits look like it should be straight out of Nightmare Before Christmas, I swear. Oh, hell no. On some Harry Potter shit. Oh, I love how they're animating this. Oh, hell no. Nah. What happens if Chopper gets taken taken into the portrait? Even the pig? Oh hell no. Nah. Who do I see? They all have numbers. Oink Chuck. Oink Chuck. Even the goddamn bear rug! Light this mole on fire. <laughs> I would literally be the same as Usopp right now. May the power of Christ repel you, compel you. Just throwing candles at everyone. Literally. And if Hogbag gets mad that I'm lighting his house on fire, you should have warned me that the portraits would try to murder me. What, the door's locked? That's why I think it's so funny that this is the trio dealing with this, the scaredy cats. Or That was the end of that. That went fast. I was going to say, as we cut over to Luffy, they're just not going to care. They just beat them all up. All right, this is the next episode. This is 342. 
They all have numbers on them, which makes me think they're all experimentations from Dr. Hogback. How are they going to get out of here? Look at their faces. Look at Nami's face. Secret door. In a mansion like this, there's always a secret pathway. Mm, I've been curious about his lab. We got zombie portraits in here too. Bro, what is good with these goddamn portraits? I can't lie, I would be terrified out my ass too. Unless I was as strong as like Luffy. Then I'd be like having a good time with it, but Oh. Is that Sindri? This is either Sindri's room and she's constantly thinking about the life she used to have before the whole plate disaster or it's Hogback's room and maybe his number one goal is to get her back to being alive. No, I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah, it genuinely gives me Nightmare Before Christmas vibes on some Sally shit. Victoria Sindri. Famous stage actress, huh? She was born in the nobility. Like, what's the, what's the actual story here? She fell from the stage. She died from a theater accident. So now I need to know how she relates to Hogback and. Hmm. Honestly, it makes me even more curious. <laughs> yes, Chopper. The scientific theories are truly out the window. 10 out of 10 will still go for it. <laughs> you are crazy, Anath. Does look like a treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, telling Usopp to do it. Never know what might pop out. The worst Jack in the Box I've ever seen. That motherfucker is creepy. So we got a couple of the answers I'm looking for. Sindri, her whole backstory was fake. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, so they do store the treasure somewhere. Of course, that's the one thing Nami really picked up on. Looks like a zombie Zoro. I won't lie, he's by far the coolest looking zombie. That laugh sounded so similar to Brooks, but... Yo ho ho, but... Where is Brooke too? We never saw him when he disappeared. He just dipped out of here. There's so many questions I have. He's just asking everyone. You already got a raccoon dog and a robot. <laughs> Don't put it like that. We're finally starting to get some Frankie <laughs> arguments. I love it. <laughs> He's not denying that one. He's not. <laughs> Eighty-two. See, everybody has a number on their, on them somewhere. Bandages, stitches, and numbers tattooed on their bodies. Look at Robin being the, being the observation lady. I love it. That's kind of creepy. It also could be a fire beat. That's what you get scared at. Bro, it's a ghost. 
What are you thinking, Luffy? What, are you gonna light him on fire? I just don't think we should be attacking any spirits we see floating around. That's never a good thing. What if they go into your body? Yeah. Okay, I've got bro. They're literally ghosts. What are we doing, guys? <laughs> I love how calm, cool, and collected Robin always is, just thinking about the situation at hand. Ah, I wonder if touching them actually <laughs> made them get depressed. He's the most depressing ghost I've ever seen. Is that why they're saying negative? Bring out the negative emotions in you? That's interesting. She thinks of everything from an archaeological standpoint, and I always, I always appreciate that. <laughs> even Zoro's even. <laughs> Sandy's not letting that go. Knowing Luffy's gonna ask this damn zombie to join the fucking crew. <laughs> He's like, hey, you accidentally... <laughs> yeah, you accidentally fell out, buddy. Let me help you out with that. What the hell is wrong with Luffy? Like, oh, he came out of his hole. Let me, let me help you out, buddy. Unlike Chopper, Usopp, and Nami, they aren't phased in the slightest. We do have the strongest squad right here. Okay. Now imagine we were watching The Walking Dead or World War Z or something and we had the straw hats. That'd be, those would have been completely different movies and shows. Look at how much work they're putting in. Okay. After combined group attack. I love it. Shout out the straw hats. 600 million berry jackpot. That's hilarious. Is that hogback laughing? So is this his lab or? I don't just don't trust this place in general. Oh, he, it looks like an evil lab. He looks like he's doing some evil shenanigans. Oh, that's on some Frankenstein shit. Mario. He's gonna wake up and be like, yippee, wahoo. Alright, soba noodles. I could go for some udon soba. That has to be her haircut, face structure, everything is literally her. But I need to know more about her obituary and how she was brought back. We didn't have confirmation Hogback was making these zombies before. We definitely do now. Speak of the zombie. Ooh. Zoro zombie. I've always wanted to wear those like Japanese style shoes, whatever those are called. Those always look sick to me. That's what I was saying. That's the same laugh as Brooke. Yo -ho -ho. I actually love that laugh though. Yo ho 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 ho. I never got a full mansion design look before. That is actually not kind of a cool looking mansion, I won't lie. All right, this is episode 343. No, they're dead serious. They're zombies and they're and they're rotting. Oh, and a raccoon dog that resembles a reindeer. He's a reindeer that resembles a raccoon dog, but 
そいつら俺の仲間だおめえらまさか手出してねえだろうな They did I do love taking his head off. <laughs> Now they're snitching. I know you nibbled on him a bit. Ever seen zombies turn blue? I haven't. Zombies are getting their asses whooped by the straw hats. They got all the info they needed. Hey, don't say that about Brooke. I like him. I mean, you were just doing your job. I feel bad for the zombies, but you guys are zombies at the end of the day, you know. You know? Now, who's that zombie? Luffy's an idiot. Oh, wow, you're not a zombie. You look exactly like a zombie. There's a man I would like you to defeat. Either Hogback or Absalom, I'm assuming. Shadowback? Uh-oh, that's sounding real familiar. Yes, can we finally learn? Brooke refused to tell us. I think it's either Hogback or Absalom. That's why Absalom can be invisible, maybe? I don't know. Come on, man. Tell us, man. The anticipation is killing me, man. Moria? Mine's a Moria? What is this, Lord of the Rings? Moria. Robin's the most knowledgeable person. Gecko Moria. Hmm, give me more info, Robin. Oh, more than 300 mil? 300 million is insane, so. We know Kuma, Doflamingo, Mihawk, Crocodile, who's no longer one. He's one of the seven warlords? This just got ten times more interesting. He invited us. That's all Moria's plan. Interesting. I love how we can see their shadows. My man shadow is not there. He's like, don't worry, old man. I'm gonna get your shadow back. And that technically... <laughs> Frankie's always the emotional one. I love it. But if we get his shadow back, then we'll be able to help Brooke too. That'll be a way for us to... To get our new member of the crew. He's like, we were always already looking for this guy who stole shadows, so don't worry, I'll help you out. All the people just lurking in the shadows. I mean, you gotta live in fear of the zombies and the sun. Now we gotta worry about the Zoro zombie. Does he just disappear into the dirt? Into the smoke? I said dirt. I'm so curious, so confused on what's going on. Infidels. Yeah, that was before your portraits starting attacking us in the main dining hall. And Nami got nakedly groped by an invisible man. The night raid.
What are we playing? Minecraft? Everything comes out at night? Is this Absalom, I'm assuming, walking through? There's so many characters now, I just need to know way more about them. He's going to see what happened with the zombies. He's one we absolutely have to whoop his ass for what he did to our girl, Nami. Who is Absalom? We got to whoop his ass. I was these zombies and I was told to go fight the straw hats. I'd be like, yeah, buddy, you didn't see them. I'm good. He looks like a cat. What sort of orchestral music is playing? What on earth is going on? And why is Absalom invisible? He looks like he has luscious. He also looks like a zombie based off those stitches. Yeah, that he is. He's that erotic leader, <laughs> Errol Salam. What the f is going on? Who is this now? We got Kumasi, we got Perona in bulk, who all flooded into the same girl. She has to be Miss Negative Nancy. Time for the night raid. The designs of all the, I tell you, it gives me such Nightmare Before Christmas vibes, but like, this, this is so different from Benny's lobby. They're waking up someone. Who the fuck is this? You got a zombie giant? They look like the three munchkins from Nightmare Before Christmas, you know, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. All right, so this is Moria. Gecko Moria, one of the seven warlords. Bro, what the fuck is going on with this arc? He does look like a Jolly Roger. I mean, this is a floating island, so... Old man is back. <laughs> Gotta give us info when, he, when we need it, you know? Largest pirate ship in the world. It's an island ship. And the night raid is about to begin. We got weird looking girl. Oh, he most definitely is a cat. We got Absalom, Hogback, Zombie Zoro. We got Negative Girl, Moria. This all just kind of turned up out of nowhere. <sighs> is this going to be the end of the episode? I have no idea, but shit's really hitting the fan. Get to see what she looks like. I was expecting this arc to be really all jokes, and I didn't know how the villains or the antagonists were going to go, but we have, it seems, multiple fights we can do. Someone, one of the squads got to fight Absalom. We got to fight the zombies. We got to fight Moria. We got to fight Perona. Zoro zombie. Okay. We might have a couple of fucking fights in this. Okay. I was not expecting this. It's a haunted mansion. Okay. The only thing I know after this arc is... Uh, I think this arc goes all the way through the saga. Because normally a saga is broken up into many arcs. Like Thriller Bark is the entirety of the arc and the entirety of the saga, right? All right, final episode of the session. This is 344. At least I think. My timing could be off. Is that a huge disco ball? Is it really going to be a Halloween party? <laughs> the fact that we see you numbering this dude. Give him some context. Yes, because your paintings were attacking us. 
Ryuma. Like his samurai outfit. Dragon. That is something Brooke would say. That literally sounds like Brooke. That literally is... What is going on? He's a general zombie. Man hails from Wano? Wow, they referenced Wano this early? Cut down a dragon soaring through the sky? Now, I don't want to pause it to ruin the flow, but there's a reason you guys told me to wait for the one shot monsters 103 whatever it's called on netflix till after thriller bark is this why is this what this guy's is, is this what the one shot's about yes yes so is this why after this arc i can watch that one shot he does seem insanely powerful i won't lie and he's so fast Three paces while humming. Three pace hum notch slash. This sword looks insanely cool. That slash attack was so delayed because of how swaggy he is. Ryuma, huh? Well, now that... Weirdly so, that makes me more hyped to watch the one shot. That is the last thing I was expecting. That is the last thing I was expecting. That happened in this arc. What is going on with this arc? And it's as if nothing happened last time, besides obviously the table being flown around. Yeah, when are the portraits going to attack? It's going to be so different between the Usopp gang with Nami and Chopper versus these guys. And here we go. Like I said, this should be different, theoretically. I don't think they're going to be nearly as terrified. He's more ecstatic than he is scared. That's a completely different party you guys are fighting right now. It's improper to open your mouth that wide. We know why. Oh. Damn, over here twisting these portraits. He still doesn't have his third sword. We need to get Zoro's third sword, man. Luffy's just having the time of his life right now. If you were as strong as him, though, I, I could probably live life without much fear. I always respect his optimism. <laughs> what do you think now, Mr. Piggy? Like I said, like multiple times, this group is so different from the scaredy cats we had earlier. Still got to deal with Mr. Piggy, yep. Yeah? Night raid's about to start. With the way they're walking. And with a... That's either a huge iron cannonball looking thing or it's a disco ball. I don't know how this is going to go. Now that's just a straight up lie. Exactly, like hell they are. Mm, really? You think we're going to fall for that? Where the fuck did Sanji stay disappearing? Usually it's for good. Usually it's for good things that he always does, but... Uh, 
So like San Sanji's Sanji. We don't really have to worry about him. But for Chopper, Usab, and Nami, we do gotta go get them. We're not even listening to Oing Chuck right now. Interesting. I am curious to learn how truly terrifying he is. I want to see him. They still haven't seen his design yet. There's only a few things that can make Luffy get serious. And messing with his friends is most certainly one of them. He said not just you, this entire island. We are taking Owing Chuck. That's Sanji's cigarette. You know actually something happened to him if his cig is gone. I swear it's always Sanji on the solo missions. It is a disco ball. At least that's what it looks like. What the hell is going on? Everybody zombie night. Zombie night. That was kind of fire, I won't lie. That was kind of a fire little song. Everybody zombie night. This is Absalom. What on earth is going on right now? What is this arc? Got the naked perv, invisible man. Arise, ancient warriors. What sort of warriors are we talking about? We already got a, a swordsman from four armed pistol. What the hell? We already got a Wano swordsman. What sort of people are we dealing with? Where are we sending Usopp, Chopper, and Nami? Bro, what is this arc? What is going on? We have so many people to fight, whether it's these new general zombies. We've got Perona, Absalom, we got Moria, Ryuma. Okay, I actually am getting kind of excited for this. I won't lie to you. Okay, this arc is very funny very comedic but also at the same time eerie creepy and music filled like that zombie zombie night actually kind of went hard i'm actually super hyped that we're gonna see one of the seven warlords because i've completely for now that we got introduced to the to blackbeard we got known as the four emperors with shanks and whitebeard and i completely low-key forgot about the seven warlords we still got mihawk doflamingo kuma we had Crocodile. We know Jinbei is one of them. They said that much early in the show. Um, and we got Gecko Moria, who's he's the one who stole Brook Shadow. I need to know more about his power, what he can do with that. I need to know why Brook sounds just like Ryuma, who Ryuma's a swordsman from Wano. That's insane. He looks dope as fuck. His sword looks dope as fuck. He's the reason why I've been told to wait on the new one shot on Netflix by uh oda so i'm curious as to what that could be now that i've i've been told to finish this arc and then go into that i don't know what the correlation could be but i am super curious super intrigued i need to know more answers that's the one thing that i don't have right now is answers like what's going on with hogback is he the leader of all this or is he just kind of the scientist behind it because i had to assume all the zombies at least in the mansion said their real master is moria so I don't know how this is gonna play out super intrigued though i'm really enjoying this arc actually just the the differentiating between how serious last arc was and how lighthearted this arc was i actually kind of enjoy it i love the roller coaster of emotions that one piece puts you through but uh like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section if you guys want the full uncut versions and up to 16 episodes ahead on patreon check out the patreon links down below like I said, we're also live on Twitch, so come on over and follow that. It's always a vibe. We're going to drink some water, tell someone you love them.
Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.